to my YouTube channel Logger Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICUG Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 20 Construction of Quadrilaterals Exercise 20A Question Number 5. It is a construct a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 3.5 cm, BC is equal to 6.5 cm, and angle A is equal to 75 degrees, angle B is 105 degrees, and angle C that is 1. 20 degrees right so this thing over here we have to construct the quadrilateral you can see i've got this rough figure of the quadrilateral up here and in this quadrilateral what you can see we have to make a b c d in this a b is going to be 3.5 centimeters your b c will be 6.5 centimeters angle a is 75 degrees angle b is 105 degrees and angle C is 120 degrees. So we have to construct these three angles and two included sides, right? So uh, see over here how we're going to do this. First of all, we're going to draw this AB as you can see. AB 3.5. So with the ruler, we will be just uh, drawing AB. That's going to be of 3.5, right? So let me just quickly make it here, right? This is my A point a this is my point b and we have to make this a b right as you can see over here let me just adjust this if it's not visible right so we have made a b and my a b this is a b and it is of 3.5 centimeters right so this is my a b of 3.5 centimeters from this point a b you can see from point a we have to make 75 degrees from point B, we have to make an angle of 105 degrees. So, well, we have to make both of these and both of these are pretty complicated as well. So, there are chances you might make some errors. So, be careful. Take your compass like I have taken mine. And now, keep the compass at point A. You can see over here, point A. Right, this point we keep it. We're going to keep this and with a suitable radius, of course. That is, we will just cut an arc, right? something like this let me darken this thing right so you can see i've cut an arc on this and now what i'll do i'll keep my compass at this point that is there and again i'll just cut one arc over to this over here you can see so it's like this what is this thing that is formed this is my 60 degrees this point that is there this point is exactly at 60 degrees from point a now, keep this thing compass pin, you keep your compass pin at this point that is formed, that's your 60 degrees. So, we're going to keep this thing over here like that, right? And after that, cut another arc over here. Now, you can see we have formed 120, we have formed 60. Now, we will form 90 because we know that 75 degrees is equal to the bisection of 90 degrees and 60 degrees right 90 first we have 60 then 90 then 120 so we don't need the 120 but we have made it so that i can make the 90 degree angle like this see cut one arc from uh, this 60 degrees another arc you will cut from 120 like that that's your 90 degrees this point that's formed so you will join this thing okay you will um, just uh, join it with your what ruler and with the dotted lines make sure that is a dotted line now 90 degrees we have formed we don't need this 120 now we need this 90 we need this 60 we will bisect them somewhere over here then only an arc can be cut see how i'm going to bisect this so we will keep this at any points you you can begin with this 90 degree point or the 60 degree point any point you wish I'll go with the 90 degrees, right? And I'm going to just keep this thing open this to more than half of the arc. Between 60 and 90 it is. Make sure you change the radius this time. Till now we have had the same radius, but now when we are going to bisect 90 and 60, we will change this radius like that. So more than half, right? It's approximately that only. We don't need to make it pretty big and just cut an arc like that okay another arc from this point over here uh wait just give me a second so from here another arc over here 
now this point that is actually formed after the cutting this is my 75 degrees okay this thing we will join with what uh with your ruler right and make sure this 75 degrees it's very long right don't make it short and why am i saying that it is because on the other hand we also have to make b that is 105 degrees over here and then on point c 120 degrees as well so try to make this as long as you can now we will begin with point b and we will make 105 degrees so keep your compass at point b again and again as i said you can open this to any radius you feel like but make sure that it's a suitable radius this should be enough now we will keep this thing here at this point and again i will cut another arc uh, wait give me a second right so like that i'll just cut this arc let me darken this thing like that we have, we have to make this thing now keep this thing at this point that is formed and now cut another arc here 60 and another arc here that is 120 these two things we all can do now we need to make 90 also so keep it again at 60 only and with the same radius cut an arc something like that and now keep this thing at 120 and with the same radius cut an arc that's it what we're going to do we're going to join these with the dotted lines remember we are making 90 degrees so we're going to be joining that with the with my this uh, dotted lines right so something like that we don't need to extend it that much right that's all we need this point that is formed is 90 degrees from point b and this point that is formed is 120 degrees from point b 90 120 you bisect you get 105 why till here we have 90 degrees and 90 and 20 that is 30 degrees half of 90 and 120 is 15 so 90 plus 15 that is what 105 so we are going to keep the compass now at point at this 90 degrees one right see um, so we have this thing now like that and again make sure you open this thing to uh, the more than half of 90 and 120 degrees somewhere be like that cut one more arc now keep this thing at 120 degrees as well and we will cut another arc something like that this angle that's formed is your 105 degrees extend this line also something like that okay we will we will make use of this as well now see what we have to make next is we have got to make we have done a b 3.5 centimeter done b c that we have is 6.5 centimeters right and that we have to make over here we have made angle a angle b now only two things remain one is b c 6.5 centimeters and the other is angle c that is 120 degrees we can only form angle C once we can plot point C on the figure. And how to do that? We will go from point B and we will cut an arc on point C with the radius of 6.5 centimeters on our compass. Do that. We will first of all, I'll just take my ruler over here. Okay. If we, got, we need 6.5 centimeters. So let's quickly open this thing up to that 6.5 6 it is and now it's coming 6.5 approximately or maybe a little more right let me see right this is 6.5 now keep this thing at the point that you have made point b cut an arc from point b you can see point b over here cut an arc right it's not really needed this big but i've just made it accidentally if you made it it's no problem now 
um, over here see let me just erase this thing because we, if I make it a little bit too much then it might cause errors in the future let me show you how so we don't need the rest of that this much is fine we we've made the point this is what point C clear now what we're going to do is next thing is we're going to cut in our two arcs from point C have a look again adjust your compass keeping it, the compass at point C now what you're going to do you're going to cut one arc first of all make the circular arc we know it's very simple just make the 120 degrees right there's nothing complicated about that so right like that you can see we're gonna just draw this arc over here that's it now we're going to keep this point the compass at this point that is formed clear and we will be cutting one arc here and we will be cutting one arc over to here now you can see i have cut the two arcs and what i'm going to do from point c only this is 120 degrees so i am going to keep my ruler over to this you can see point c and this intersection that is there of 120 degrees and what am i going to do i'm going to just join these two right like that you can see i've joined this and make sure it touches this l this line that is there on a this point that is now formed is point d and what else do we need to label bc that is of how much 6.5 centimeters the other two parts that we have one is angle a this is my 75 degrees another is angle b and that is my 105 degrees and the, another one the last one is angle c that is your 120 degrees you can label this later on and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye